Welcome back to Lifecraft. Hello. We're starting our hair off in uh, one of the many examples I can make of brutalist architecture, which is basically just a grey box. And if you can hear some of the sounds, you may guess what we're going to be working on here. Um, I have the ability to have an out-of-body experience now on this server, so I'm going to just think hard enough and you may or may not see the effects of this. There we go. A little higher up. And, yeah. We have a nice blaze spawner with some blazers communing with it. And we're going to be working on spawner. Let me just bring myself back down into myself. There we go. Anyway, uh, this is going to be based on an El Mango design, I think. Yeah. Uh, you may have seen many places. This one is slightly different because I don't know if everybody saw the second episode he put out about it. But if you've got a blaze spawner that's in a big chunk, you may not want to dig it all out. You may not want to fill it all in, and this, this can be done. So this marks out the size of blocks we will eventually want to fill in. doesn't really matter at the moment. Up to here, and then down to that corner. This is the most important bit, which we need to build upwards from the bottom. I believe. Well, I mean, that's that's my choice. So, I'm going to start this. Right. So, this would be the walkway around which you go, and in the middle you would slap the blazers. So, in the centre here, we are going to be putting some. Will be a slightly higher raised. Oh, I want another with me. Um, I need to go and get some more uh, uh, half slabs. So there will be a raised half slab area in the middle underneath which we're going to have hoppers. They will capture all of the blaze rods and then people will be able to poke at them from here from in safety. Uh, probably going to channel them down this side down here uh, and through uh, an automatic crusher. So all things to come. First we should go and grab our uh, slabs which we left behind at the base. Right, building from the bottom up, let's see if we can do this. So we start with a chest here and we need a hopper going into it and a hopper going into that and then this will be one row, let's say, and we fill out the rest here. And we should make it getting over there, maybe, like that. in and I guess we go like this way. And into there. It's probably I don't know, could be worse, could be better. Six left over. Now, a little up way. And then we can cover this section with half slabs. Thank you. 
fucking annoying, is it? I'm going to try and clear out the last bit, a bit of fire resist, should help things. Punching. Oh, come on, I want to eat something. Nothing's working.
Right, that's our cage done. So that's it mostly dug out. Um, got a few things to fix, I guess. They're not really that important at the moment, as you can see down here. We don't activate the spawner. If we or wandering pigmen. Go up to this level. Spawner is activated. We can actually go up to higher level here. And obviously relief them. Uh, we'll do this one here. Actually I don't know if I can, do I? Yeah I do have those. I've thrown them away though, so there's that. Oh, pick block work for me. So you see the building up. Now, what we need to have then is the, um, the crusher that brings them down here to the floor below where they wander around. There's lots of room here and you can, you can run around the outside and kill them. So let's get to that. That's the auto crusher in place then, uh, as you can see, catches, squishes, 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 releases and lets them in again. Right. So now we just have to make down pipe, which is going to be a fun one. Now at the moment we've got nothing in there, so the question is can I get up there quickly enough? Make myself a little safety cage along here. So I can work um, possibly. I need to use all of these things. Right, I think we're safe there. So. I think 
Stuck in a hole. Get out this way. chamber. See what's going on. Okay, I think got everything working. Uh, you see, it drops them down, squishes them. Just random time, and then when it cycles back through, it'll pop them out again, and they all get stored down at the bottom, and then they all trundle along eventually. And down here, you can go. Wait, I'm running away. You need to die. There we go, one shot. Just a decent sword, but there you go. Could kind of cycle around, but kind of everything. There you go, and you're gone too. And then everything should end up. All of our blazy rods should end. Mm, should end up. Yeah. Excellent. Looting sword will be helpful. I don't have one of those at the moment, so. C'est la vie. Okay, that's the farm done. As you can see, uh, I've kindly. Come on, yeah, there's a better one maybe. Yeah, gonna kind of path into the hole, fall down, land on top of that thing, which will eventually get them through and crunch them. And then when we go down to the killing floor, they are at two hits, which is nice. In the single player. you can get them down to one, but I found with eight, eight on a server, it, uh, it kills them in there. But anyway, you don't really want to be using a looting sword anyway, because your fist doesn't really give you enough to uh, get the heads and stuff. And the massive amount of uh, blaze rods I've now got. So... I think that's all for this episode. 
We're about done here. Uh, I'm going to do some sort of shop type thing. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do. I don't really want to be AFKing all the time. So maybe some sort of subscription service where you pay to get in here for a bit. I'll think on it. Thanks for watching this episode then. Uh, if you'd like to comment at the thing if YouTube hasn't decided there are any children in this episode and has disabled comments algorithmically as they uh, want to do and uh, also subscribing is fun liking is fun and telling your friends and family and pets about the channel that would make my day send cat pictures of them of the cat subscribing to my Twitter, which I'll link somewhere, and I shall see you in the next episode. Bye! Didn't break anything.